It is 2023 and AI has been all over the internet. AI is giving designers, copywriters, and other professionals a run for their money. Why pay someone if the work can be done virtually for free, follow all the instructions perfectly, and it will be done right away. In this video, we're reviewing the landscape of AI tools across different industries so that you can stay ahead of the curve and leverage artificial intelligence to stay on top of your industry. Like they say, if you can't beat them, join them. But first, let's get the terminology down. AI enables machines to perform tasks that would normally require human-level intelligence. And although it feels like AI is a recent phenomenon, that's not true at all. Humans aspired to create intelligent machines for centuries. But in the 1950s, AI was born as an academic discipline. But in the 21st century, however, there was a huge breakthrough. This is because computers have finally become powerful enough to process a lot of data. And there was enough data to process since this thing called the internet with billions of people creating data. AI can't really think, although sometimes it feels like it. AI infers information from existing body of knowledge, the things that are written by you and me. And then it synthesizes that information into sentences. And therefore, innovation will still belong to humans like us who can think and be creative whereas AI can help us to gather existing knowledge, organize data, and so on. In the book Life 3.0, Max Tegmar explains the development of artificial intelligence as the rising sea. According to Tegmar, as AI becomes more capable and prevalent, it will seep into every aspect of our lives, transforming everything from our economic system to our political institutions. This transformation will be gradual, like the rising sea level and it will be driven by a combination of technology and social change. Interestingly, this book was written in 2017 and from this image, we can already imagine how programming, book writing, art creation, and even cinema can be done with artificial intelligence. We've seen many versions and variations of it already created. All AI tools can be broadly classified into five different types. The first one is natural language processing. Those tools focus on processing and understanding human language, including things like text synthesis, sentiment analysis, so if something is positive, negative, or neutral, translation, and finding entities, who did what. Example of tools that use natural language processing are ChatGPT and Jasper. The second AI type is machine learning. Machine learning is the type of AI that involves training algorithms to recognize patterns in data and make predictions based on those patterns. Whereas deep learning, the third type, is a framework that learns to recognize those patterns and to predict things, but unlike machine learning, where humans set the original variables. Deep learning is where machines identify those patterns on their own. Then there comes computer vision, the tools that focus on analyzing and understanding images, videos, and can recognize faces. Maybe you've seen that feature on Facebook. Is it a dog? Is it a hamburger? In fact, you help to train those systems with tools like captures. So computer vision powers image generation tools like Midjourney and even autonomous vehicles. Then comes robotics. Those tools help control robots, including tasks such as path planning and computer vision for robot navigation. In fact, Tesla self-driving is a driving robot. Okay, now that we've covered the fundamentals of what AI is and all the different types of AI, let's explore how we can make those artificial intelligence tools actually practical in our day-to-day -day lives. And because there are so many AI tools out there, this video would have probably taken me five hours or even more. So we'll only explain the most powerful consumer AI tools by industry, like design or content writing. So no driverless cars and no technical tools. And by the way, I'm going to leave a really cool resource in the description of this video. It covers 1000 AI tools that you can start using today. Make sure to check it out. Let's check out the tool. Sales. AI tools can help you with outreach, lead scoring, and identifying the most likely people to convert so that you do not have to spend time chasing people who are unlikely to close. And you can 
dramatically speed up your outreach. A great tool for outreach is called Bardeen. It will allow you to write personalized emails to people based on the information in their LinkedIn profiles or even do outreach based on people's most recently published content. There are many AI tools for marketing that can do conversion rate optimization, advertising, and even the chatbots. And then there is Conversica. Conversica is a conversational AI tool that can interact with leads through email and other channels. It can help your sales team to qualify leads, schedule meetings, and follow up with prospects in a very personalized way. So you do not have to do most of the work and enjoy just having cool phone calls with new people that end up on your calendar. And you can just wait for your pipeline to fill up. And those tools can also help with support and do personalized recommendations based on existing content on the website. Copywriting. AI tools can be used to generate any type of content from product descriptions to blog posts, social media content, and pretty much any type of written content. Personally, as a copywriter myself, I originally hated the idea because copywriting in essence is not about putting words on paper, but it is about understanding your customers, their desires, pains, frustrations, and crafting a relatable story around those things. But then I thought about it and I realized that with AI, I can now focus on more complex tasks such as strategy and messaging and actually interviewing those people to develop a better idea of my customer avatar. Okay, now let's take a look at a few of those AI copywriting tools. The first tool is called Poppy AI. And obviously this sounds like a dream come true for SEO people because they no longer need to spend thousands of dollars working with expensive writers. And AI can generate content specifically optimized for SEO keywords that you're looking to rank for. The second copywriting tool is called Ad Creative. What makes Ad Creative really cool is that it can generate both copy and creatives for your advertising. I personally have run tens of thousands of dollars of ads and it's such a pain to create all of the different ad variations, titles, descriptions, and so on. And then comes sourcing visuals and trying to figure out what performs the best. Ad Creative will do copywriting for your ads and will also give you powerful analytics to optimize your campaign so that you're never sailing blind. Design. There's some really cool image generation tools that can create visuals like this, this, and this. And one of my favorite tools is called Mid Journey. All you need to do is you need to open up a Discord and craft a prompt for your image and then you're going to have a visual generated. Most of those images are not going to be useful right away, but it's a great starting point for designers to have something that they can work with and further develop. And then come video tools. It's pretty much 25 AI generated images a second. One of those tools is called Syntasia. First, you need to pick an avatar and provide it with text. And Syntasia is going to generate a video for you based on that text. Using Google effectively for research requires some strategies. You also probably have seen many deep fakes, which is concerning, but there are tools like Descript that can generate audio that will sound like you. Just press D and type what you want to say. So let's take a listen. What if you could divide this up into two different shots of Italian food? So this is really great. It just saves me a lot of time. And then there are tools for research. For example, Bardeen allows you to summarize the currently open article with a shortcut. Or you can ask a question about the currently open blog post to extract data from it without reading it. Let's open the extension with the option B shortcut and click on the automation. Here we can type in a question, who are the main characters of the story? Let's run this automation and boom, there we have our answers. And then come workflow automation tools. They're really, really cool, but I guess I'm biased. And also they're pretty new. So imagine AI building automations for you. For example, check out Bardeen. Bardeen uses artificial intelligence to build automations for you. It has this feature called the magic box where you can type in what you want to automate and Bardeen is going to generate an automation for you automatically. So you do not need to know how to code or you do not even need to know how to know code with many tools. You just type in what you want done and boom, there is your automation that will save you a bunch of time. And the second really cool feature will create automations for your manual workflows that you do not even need to know about. It will detect the manual things that you do on your computer and ask you, hey, is this something that you want to automate and provide a pre-built automation for your use case. Programming. So what if AI could write code for you? At the end of the day, programming is about thinking and it's, it's pretty complex. There's this tool developed by GitHub called Copilot 
and you just need to tell it what piece of code you want to create, what function you want to create, and it's going to generate it for you, which I think is a pretty mind-blowing. So let's ask for help to make this code just a bit more readable. I'll type, make this code more readable. Not bad. So at the end of the day, Copilot is amazing. One, if you do not know the answer and you don't want to waste hours on Stack Overflow going through uh, tons of different messages to figure out the solution. Or number two, you know the answer, but you don't want to type many lines of code. Uh, that's another really cool application just to do things way, way faster. Thank you for watching this video about the landscape of AI tools. These tools are really fantastic, but most of us don't even have enough time to explore them. And for that, you can leverage Bradeen to automate your manual work and to win your time back. Check out this next video to learn how to do exactly this.